Dr. Larry here. I hope you're doing well today. So on my soul walk today, I was walking by a stream and I asked, what was the highest and best good for people to hear on the soul walk today? And when I was looking at the stream, I just kind of stood at the stream and I saw like rocks and boulders and then I saw the uh, water flowing through and in between. And it was really interesting because the word fluidity came. And I was like, oh wow, I love that. So fluidity versus rigidity. Okay, so the water is fluid. The water flows through. It doesn't care what's in its path. It just makes its way, okay? And rigidity were the stones or the rocks in the river and they were just sitting there. They weren't going anywhere, okay? So if I apply that to our lives, rigidity versus fluidity, where in our lives are we holding on to things? that we want to keep or we think things should be a certain way and they're not. That's rigidity. And when we come into that space of feeling that things should be a certain way or we're upset because they're not the way we want them to be, we get into this, this stuck energy and we can only see what's in front of us. Like, this is what I want, but it's not here and we get upset right? And that's what happens when we um, aren't open to new things. Versus the water, it, it's fluid. It goes in between, it goes up, it goes over. And when we're in a fluid state in our lives, we go with the flow. And we realize that nothing, ah, nothing stays the same. The only thing consistent is change. And if we can come from that belief structure, from that knowing that everything always changes, that nothing stays the same, then we can be more fluid in our life. Relationships don't always stay the same. Our job doesn't stay the same. Our bodies certainly don't stay the same. Our circumstances, they're never the same. They always change. So if we can come from the space of knowing that we're being guided to our highest and best good, we can learn to flow through life with, um, with ease and grace instead of being stuck and being upset because things aren't the way we think they should be. And when we let go of this preconceived notion that this is the way our life should be, we open ourselves up to so many new possibilities of how life can be and what's available to us. Our, our ego mind is so limited. It is so, so limited. But when we open up to spirit, when we open up to our soul's path, things come into our lives in a way that we could never have dreamt possible. And it is so amazing when that happens. So I know it's a little bit of a short one today, but I was just thinking, you know, where in your life are you being rigid? And where in your life can you be more fluid? Where can you open up to new things? Because that's where the growth is, is when we're open to new things. So I hope that helps. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.